Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to our European Morning Call. It's a good day for European equities yesterday, and we're in continuing that trend this morning. The FTSE breaking out to a post-pandemic peak here at 70.65. So the breach of the 70.40 level yesterday was important. Uh, that's uh, whetted the appetite for further gains. And we are now trading at levels not seen since uh, last February, uh, just before the big, big decline. Um, potentially recovery to 77 uh, 7,700 is on the cards. Uh, watch for uh, near term. I mean, this area that we're coming into here. Um, uh, where are we? About this uh, region 7150. That's going to offer a lot of uh, resistance. I would expect that could be a, a big test. Uh, but then once you break that, then you're starting to look at these levels up here, 704040, and then up to 7700. Um, elsewhere, the DAX is back up again. Uh, obviously a big reversal on Tuesday, but uh, trying to recover those gains on Wednesday, not quite managing it. So today looking to see whether we can breach Tuesday's peak. Um, and then elsewhere, uh, the, uh, the Dow hit a record high yesterday, energy and basic uh, materials doing well uh, across the, the piece really uh, on hopes of a global economic bounce back. And uh, elsewhere in currencies, We've got cable trading at 139 ahead of the Bank of England meeting. Remember that statement today at midday British summer time. So cable steady at 139, euro dollar at 120. Um, do check out the uh, uh, daily signals that you get from Signal Center. If you're not signed up to those, do chat to client services and they'll get you put on the list. Uh, they provide daily uh, technical signals for some of the major markets like euro dollar and the Dow and so on. Um, Euro, obviously, we've got this MACD reversal here, this crossover still in play following uh, the down day on May 4th. One to watch. Um, potentially, that signal near term reversal type pattern. And uh, you can see here uh, we are now testing these lows put in at 119.90. Uh, elsewhere uh, in commodities, we've had oil doing very well, but it did take a bit of a hit yesterday after the inventory numbers were uh, maybe not quite as strong as had been anticipated. So, you saw a bit of a move there uh, after those numbers there. So, that's the down move since steadied. But still trading above 65 on June WTI. That's it for the moment. We'll have updates for you uh, later on.